If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Yes, nurse? Yes, nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance! This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Hospital quests ahoy. Uh, but before that, I think we need to make sure we thoroughly check this place. I um, feel like there has to be... Oh yeah, hello. Dragon Bane? What? Ancient sword? This has to be like a pre-order bonus or something. Jesus. Ancient sword with a Latin phrase. This makes no sense. I'm walking around with like a tiny stake and a hacksaw or like a broken machete and then I've got the ancient Latin sword Dragon Vein. Hey, I mean I I mean is it actually broken though? It's 75 damage, which is noticeably more than the others. Uh, it's got 10 attack speed though versus the 15 of these. Well, the same as the bludgeon and same stamina. Plus, swords are cool. I'm... No guilt. I'm, I'm gonna take this. This is gonna be my thing. I'm gonna use Dragonbane. It... It is... Sometimes these pre-order bonuses or whatever is a little bit weird. What? What just happened? Why are we loading? Oh, I got a hat. Oh, I got a proper outfit. What? I am confused. I guess I go to there to decide if I want to have a hat on or not. Or shoulders or not. The flower's dying. It needs water. Much like I'm dying, and I need blood. I kind of preferred my look without the the hat, so we stick with this. Me and Dragon Pain. Um, can we upgrade Dragon Pain? Yeah, we need some handle parts and lead plates. And then once you've got level 2, you can upgrade these. This is what I never did with the... the thing. Uh, just look at the text. A surgical hacksaw. A wooden stick. A broad blade. This ancient blade with Latin phrase engraved forged in Wales belonged to Petronius Aurealinus. It is belonged to the brother of St. Paul stole, which is what um, Swansea is with. So, that's kind of cool. Um, I did find out, by the way, ooh, first of all, refill, ammo, just in case, that if I ever screw up with my powers, which is very likely, I could just reset. 
Resell my skills, just in case I want to, like, grab the mist. Or upgrade the amount of healing I get from drinking and, and so on. For now, we're gonna go with this. Right, we have quests to do. I... I wonder if there was more I could have done before I slept. I... I hope the game doesn't have a ton of, like, missable stuff. I mean... I, I guess it's not half bad. It's always means good for replay. And so far, it's been fun enough that I can see myself replaying it. Thomas Elwood. Yeah, obviously, burn marks on his face. Phantom pain. Interesting. Oh, we got a new hint. We want to fix them. Just, just because we're a good person. But also... Just in case... We want to drink their blood. Uh, is anything here? No. So we still have the wrong target quest. Who's spying on our... Maybe not so vampire. Anything exciting up on this floor? Nope. Not at all. I wonder what there is to find here. Ah, it's Swansea. So I'll, I'll try to start to recognize that little golden tint. That sort of indicates where there is something I can interact with. Can we go up this floor? Ah, it's the same door. So main quest is likely the old Morge, but I'd like to find out Morge. The old Morge. Morg. But I also was that a shiny shine? No, it's just a lamp. Small bottle. Aha! Okay, first of all, who's this from? Lucy, I guess. Quick look through. Don't think we want to sit through and read all of them necessarily. Thing I might do on my own playthrough, but it's uh, locked, all right. I don't know how much you guys would appreciate it. I'll read it if it seems particularly interesting. Um... I'm not done with the hospital, I feel. I feel like there might be more stuff to find here. Hello, Thelma. I think I've talked to everything. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Yeah, I can't really give you any of that. I'll leave you. Mistress of, Mistress of the Dark. To your nocturnal activities. Oh, I think. Nurses are needed now. In the name of mercy, they depend on you. Um, was Mr. Elwood here? Because we just got another hint from him. Hello. Are you... You are going to reveal all your secrets to me. Even the darkest thoughts in your heart. My blood and soul. They belong to you now. The life running in your veins. This dead flesh needs it. Oh, please spare me, Dark Queen. Spare your obedient slave. I mean... It's their own little shared delusion. If that's what they want. Oh, ha it's Hampton! We definitely talked to him. Yeah. Damn. But, uh, Thomas... Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Do you mind if I ask you about... Ah. Hmm. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. 
It happened during my leave. It was an accident. Tell me what really happened then. I went with a whore in Rouen. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Reconstructive surgery has been very successful for some soldiers. I don't want to wear a bloody mask for the rest of my life. I'd rather stay here and just be forgotten. Hint failed. No! What does that mean? Hint lost. Shit. Can I regain it somehow? Why lie about it? Come on. Reconstruct. I don't want to work. Ah. That's interesting. You can fail with some things. And now I have to just get over the fact that I made the wrong decision. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Give disgust on every street corner. The daily routine. Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Who is your flock, actually? How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place and he refused to let me go. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just Both? a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul searching for light. What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers Trade Union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who oh, show, with the Clay assistance of Cox. Booth Digby. I guess he used to be the leader of a gang. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I've had this nickname for so long, you know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint, not even criminals. Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom, yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. Who should I avoid in this part of town then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke? Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. 
and I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. Hmm. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Hmm. Maybe, I mean, maybe... The thing is, sometimes the way it works in, in, in Vampire Story stuff, it, there needs to be proper belief behind the cross. It's the power of the belief in in God that makes it actually work. No random guy can just pick up a two pieces of sticks and, you know, rope them together and make that an anti-vampire symbol. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Sounds pretty priestly to me. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. If we manage to get Goodbye, ourselves Mr. some, Hampton. we'll talk again later. Some blood transfusion. Are we gonna have to choose between giving it to Thelma or to Hampton? Sean. Ah. Disgust on every street. I wish I didn't fail that, but that's something I'm gonna have to deal with. Ah, uh, where's there? It is. So this Clay Cox. I now know that he used to be the leader of the Wet Boot Boy Gang. Is that what it's called? See, I got two successful ones, and then... nope. But that leaves his blood quality at 850. Still not a lot. But still two left. Again, not sure how many of these I'm gonna be drinking down. The balance... What? Where's Harriet? Someone stole Harriet's blanket. Wherever she is. She in here? Most of these people are lying down. I will not let you down, my boy. New person? Hello. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is, I disagreed about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. So, what actually happened to you then? That's a lot of hints required, all right. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed, so I can return to work and to my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. Carpenter. I'm a carpenter. And a good one, too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness. But you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you about it. I'm afraid we are. Are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable. And your colleagues seem to think so too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. All right, well, that's no hint, so... Done with Fiddick Goodbye for now. for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. Down, Are you Good one evening, of the doctor? I believe we're going to be working together, Doctor Reed. Strickland, there we go. Doctor Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune, such an honor, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And you are? I am Thoreau Strickland, Doctor Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Doctor Reed. Okay, that's nice. Please, could you tell me something about yourself? 
I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. Hmm. Uh, okay. I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me, but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. It's always a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone eager to learn. I'll be glad to help you if I can. This epidemic may be the century's most terrible disaster, but I'm convinced that we, as doctors, are the only ones able to defeat it. So, I get the feeling basically like... There's the standard dialogue tree of just like asking all the questions, and then every now and then you'll be pretty much faced with a choice. And if you face the wrong choice, you might lose out on chance to get in. I'd rather not talk as long. You're not the. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea, but with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. Yes, I guess. You seem quite optimistic. It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions remain about our capacity to resolve the situation. True, true. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? Oh no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. Nice. New quest. I've asked everything, I'm pretty sure now. Oh no, here we go. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father. Ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. I see. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones and flesh. That's fair, but I mean, we are both. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Now, if you don't mind, Dr. Strickland, can I get access to that little... Thank you. That, well, just got some glass files. So, this Ackroyd, then. Ooh, hello. Sweet girl. My dear children. Sorry I did not write to you before. Oh, yeah. That's Fiddix. Robert Chadwick. Two hints. Alright, Fiddick, let's try again. It's a lot of, um... Investigation via dialogue here. Uh, it's been a while since we were out fighting vampires, but... 